everybody, welcome to La Belle Province. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski here in Montreal, Quebec. Just how important is game one here? Well, it's really important, of course, but if you lose it, it's not the end of the world. What's really important is you try to impose your will on the other team, which should be for a long series. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The quest for Lord Stanley's Bug continues right here tonight, and we are underway. Knocked away by Bergeron. Montreal's looking to break out. That pass doesn't go. Puck picked up by Marchand. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Price gets on top of the puck, and we'll get a whistle. Everybody on the ice is gassed. He's probably gassed, too. Now he's going to drink of water and reset. Bergeron is known for picking his opponent's pockets with his yoink zone ability. Those takeaways can lead to offensive attacks. Kopitar is great at reading the play and intercepting pucks, guys. That's his quick pick zone ability, and he uses it to get his team going. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Drouin. And that pass goes off a stick. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Puts it to the front of the net, and they can connect. Into the attacking end. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Tosses it to McCabe. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And he takes a shot, and he makes the save. Oh, there's one more. Quick reflexes give him the opportunity to make back-to-back -back stops. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Bruins win the draw. Pushes it across to Vlasic. Grabbed along the board by Coyle. Moves it to Gallagher. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Handles the pass at center. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Coyle's close to pulling off a great move there. Just denied in zone. Suzuki's got it in the offensive zone. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a short pass to Lekanen. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moore's got it behind the net. Oh, if there's going to be a regret in this one, that might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just miss the pass. The scoring chance goes away. Massive collision in the open ice. Feeds it to Kotkaniemi. Montreal's on the attack. Takes a shot. Love save and the puck moves on. The Bruins gain control of the puck. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Looks a little uncomfortable, like he's banged up a bit, James, but not going to the bench, gonna try and finish this shift. And the puck's kick free. Quick pass to Blake. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Bruins have it now. The Canadians have it on the offensive end. And they won't connect on that one. Takes the puck at the point. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Levo's got the puck along the wing. Stays with it. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Up along the wing. And now it's over to Gaunt. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Car 
Guevara's not anywhere close to 100% as he finishes this shift. He was banged up during it, and he tried to make sure he got to the end of the shift. Marshawn's out on the ice right now, guys, and you know, if he can get his feet moving and shoot at the same time, he can really fire it with his make it snappy zone ability. Bergeron's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Slides it over to Petrie. And that pass can't connect. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Slavin's got it on the offensive end. Takes the feed. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Handles it along the blue line. Denies him on the play. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. And the intensity's starting to ramp up here after that hit. Into the offensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Denied by the goaltender. Price opts to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit. You need your goalie to help you out. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. From the right side, they gain the zone. This one, spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Montreal's won the faceoff. Quick feed to Slavin. Couldn't complete the pass. Boston's moving it up the ice. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Moves it quickly over to Coyle. And he passes it up ahead to DeBrusk. Takes a shot. No room for that one to get through. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Toffoli. The Bruins take it along the wall. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Coyle's going to play it against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Petrie. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. Can't get it to go. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Takes a shot in front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. More than half the frame has been played here. Still scoreless in this one. Studnik has won the faceoff. And now he tries to get it across to Gallagher. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Boston's playing it from the side. And that one's broken up. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Montreal's won the faceoff deep in their own end. The Canadians gain possession. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Interference, the call. Can you argue this one? Well, you can argue anything, James, but if that's fair. That's an interference penalty. The Bruins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Pretty good chance here to break a scoreless game. The first power play of the game gets your best guys on the ice. Turns it aside with the glove. Price is going to slow things down and get a whistle. It's a good choice for him. It looked like the team had starting to become unraveled. Step on side, still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. 
And that's hooked away. Trying to get out of the defensive end. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Boston's moving it along the wing. And he regains control of the puck. Oh, he denies them with the stick save as it goes off the shaft of the stick. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Marchand's picking up steam. He got all of that hit. Boston's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Sends a pass over. Moves it to Bergeron. And no luck on that pass attempt. And they clear that puck. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Haig's time is almost done. Here's a shot with the stop. Haig's penalty has expired. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time, you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Can't connect on the pass. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. There's another for the hit parade. Picked up along the wall by Chirac. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Gaunt has it in the defensive end. Sends it in on the attack. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Booming shot! And that carries off a stick. Takes the feed. The Bruins have it now. Great reach with the stick by Suzuki. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. Suzuki's going off for elbowing. You're on the receiving end of this. You're not very happy. That's a penalty all day long. Pretty easy call to make. The Bruins send their man advantage unit out once more. Really doesn't matter if the power play scored before or not in this game, which it hasn't. You've got to focus in on the one that you've got right now. It's time to tee off on this one. Trying to exit the defensive zone, and they get it out. Great burst of speed to come up with it. The Canadians play the puck from the back of the net. Feeds it over to Nemestikov. Into the offensive end now. Puck scooped up by Slavin. Passed up ahead. Boston's got the puck. Moves it over to Coyle. Montreal's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Works it across to Aber. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a short pass to DeBrusque. Oh, and I'm sure they'd like a redo on that. Now, lots of work and nothing for it as they don't get the puck on goal. Price has the puck and holds on for a whistle. Stepons recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And that's just out of reach. And tries to make a diagonal pass to step on. Great poke check on the reach. Quick pass to Krislik. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed, and we are still tied. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Too passive, not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers, really doesn't become a dangerous power play. Made the save on the play. Oh, he's all over that pass across the crease. Nice stop. And a stick breaks that up. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Taken by Bergeron. 28 seconds to go. Goalie with a stop. Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. I like how this shot was delivered. It's off the stick, and it's got a lot of velocity on it, but that's a really good pad save. 
Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Kopitar. Sends the pass over. He grabs the puck here at the point. Steps into it! Oh, it just slips wide! Great effort to get into position to create the chance. They just don't get it onto the net. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one. Do you know someone in your community who goes the extra mile to help out? Nominations for our team players are available in the concourse. In the and while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. Both teams still feeling each other out after a scoreless 20. Let's see if that changes here in period number two. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Can't be too surprised this game's scoreless. There's been very few shots on goal. No pace to it. It was really a sloppy, boring period. Petrie's lugging the puck. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Directs it on over to Drouet. And the puck skips away after that move. Harder you try, sometimes the worse it gets. Maybe just make the simple play, and you'll probably advance things a little better. Scoops up the puck here. That's blocked. Sends the cross ice pass. Skates across the blue line. Takes a shot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. The Canadians walk the line. Broken up by Marchand. Through center along the wing. Dumps it in. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Canadians take it along the wall. Takes a shot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Gallagher's first game back doesn't show any signs of rust, James. I like the way he skated, and there he gets a shot on goal. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Sends it over to Domi. Takes the pass. Oh, he worked hard to generate that shot. He just misses wide. And puts the body into it. A little bumper car hockey. Manages to hang on. End up along the boards. The Bruins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Takes it right in the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. That's a good stop, James. You know, both sides of this. We'll put this in their video library. The save and how the goalie moved in the shooter and where they decided to shoot it. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We're still scoreless. Dished on over to Lekanen. There's a hit on the play. Throws it in. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Big time stop there. Angles it over to Aberg. Boston's got it along the wall. Fires it into the offensive zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. Higgs got the puck in his own zone. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Puck grabbed by Aber. Pushes it across to Studnika. Keeps hold of the puck. That's wide of the net. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Blaze got it along the wing. And that's knocked away by Kara. 
Takes it across the blue line. And that's picked off in front. Battling for it along the boards. Moves with the puck at the corner. Taken along the wall by Levo. Nice pass. Across the line from center. A chance from along the wall. Puck picked up by Slavin. Quick feed to Gauntz. Puck scooped up by Kulikov. Dumps it in. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. That pass doesn't go. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Taken by Petrie. And now it's grabbed by Sherratt. Puck dumped in. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Here's a chance. Oh, just the wrong side of the post on that one. Trying to beat the goaltender with quickness, but it's wide of the target. And now he moves it to Clifton. And that banks off a stick. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is made. Blaze elbow a little too high in the eyes of the officials. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Are you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Boston's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They've tried to jam things around the front of the net, James. I think they've got to go back to the point, open up some space, and shoot the puck from there. Chris shot from the slot, and that's blocked. Cutting to the slot, and he breaks up the opportunity in front with a puck check. And the puck clears the zone. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Can't get a hold of that pass. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Bergeron's got it through center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. From behind the net. Here's a shot. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. stick handle themselves right into the corner and they don't realize how they got there he's handling the puck beating defenders and he's always working his way towards the net where he puts it in the back of the net for a gorgeous goal guys we know he can stick handle so well that's his puck on a string superstar ability and with a nifty move he was able to create that chance on net that's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Montreal's got it into the offensive zone. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Funny, James, when you try something a little bit too much, you know halfway through it's not working anyway. I'm pretty sure that was the thought there. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Sherratt's got it in the defensive end. Montreal's playing it through center. Cuts into the paint. Blocked in front. Boston's got it against the boards. Puck grabbed by Aber. And they keep the pressure on. Puck battle along the boards. The Bruins have it against the wall. Intercepted the pass. Let's it fly. Oh, that goes awry. Man, they create the scoring chance, and it's a good one but they don't get it on the net. Boston's got possession of the puck. Studnika's got it into offensive territory. Shuts him down. Price freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. That's a great scoring chance turned aside. The blocker saved the nine shot. More than half the period has expired. The Bruins lead it 1-0. Kakaniemi's won it in their own end. Back at the point, they set it up. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. 
And now he angles it across to Studnika. The Canadians pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Turned aside. The Bruins move it ahead. Takes a hit on the play. From the point, they take control of it. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Trying to engage a little physicality here. Goes right to the crease. He scores! And that's two in a row! Get one, you stay hungry, you want to stay on your toes. And while the defending team's back on their heels, they throw another one on the board. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. The Bruins now extend their lead to two here in the second. And they've shortened the game down. You're inside the last half of the game, a two-goal lead. You've had most of the possession. You're in great shape. Slides the puck over. The Canadians will play for the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Delayed penalty coming up here. Crunches him into the boards. He used the boards as an anchor. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. And now it's over to DeBrusque. They got a chance to make something happen here on the delayed penalty. Extra attackers out. Buries it for the goal. Guess they didn't need that power play. I guess not. They were really attacked the front of the net. They beat the goaltender, and now they'll lose the power play, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Take the goal. I like how quickly he got this puck off his stick in the high slot. He moved around, find some clean ice, and then beat the goaltender. The Bruins clearly aren't a fan of any mercy rule tonight, are they? No, when it's your night, though, go and enjoy it. You got a few goals, go get a few more. There's going to be some nights that it doesn't happen like this. Boston's got the breakaway. Stopped by the puck stopper. Yeah, beaten is the term, James. The goaltender beats the shooter on that one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Since the beginning of the playoffs, he has been really good. One of the league leaders in playoff goals. He seems to score almost every night. Coyle's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Boston's won the draw. The Bruins have it now. Musa quickly over to McCabe. Back to the blue line. Musa to Nemestikov. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Maintains possession. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Turns it over. Here's a short pass to Krislik. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. And that's deflected. Scooped up along the wall by Nemestikov. And they won't connect on that one. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. Power play set to expire. One last chance here, Ray. Yeah, quick entry will give them some time in the offensive zone. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. And now he tries to get it across to Bergeron. A shot! Too much traffic in the lane. And the puck's knocked loose. Scrum along the boards. And they fail to go tape to tape. Move to the middle. Takes the shot. Turned aside with the glove by Price. Great tracking. He finds the puck. He gets the glove up. Makes the save on a dangerous chance. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Boston's on easy street right now. They lead at 3-0. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Grabbed along the board by Suzuki. Slides it across to Gallagher. Things start to get a little physical out there. Here he is in close. 
And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Puck picked up by Kara. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And the middle frame almost done. And the puck's booted away. There's the whistle penalty coming up. The Canadians will serve two for holding. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Montreal's got possession here in their own end. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Taken by Nemestikov. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Let's it go. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. And they get that puck down the ice. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Down the right side and into the zone. Slides the puck across to Coyle. Here's a blast. Oh, that's a smart heads up play as he breaks it up with the poke. There's the horn ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. Proud sponsor of tonight's game with 70 stores and 14 restaurants. Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away. Teams are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. The Canadians win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Puts it on net. Turned aside with the glove by Price. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Pasternak's accuracy goes up when he shoots a puck that's settled down, guys. When it's nice and flat, he can really pick his spots. That's his snipe zone ability. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Way too much congestion blocks that. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Montreal's got the puck in the corner. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. The Bruins have it from their own end. Hags up and ready to join the play. Grabs it with the glove. Price is going to hang on for a whistle and get a breather here for his team. That guy start to run around, you get a little weary. That's an important cover. Lots of time left in this period. Boston's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And that pass can't connect. Picked up along the boards by Blake. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. The Bruins take over on possession. Montreal's got the puck. Picked up along the wall by DeBrusque. Receives the pass. Quick pass to Aber. Couldn't make that one happen. The Canadians get a hold of the puck. Stays with it. Now over to Drouet. Can't get it to go. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. They've got some momentum here. And that's a smart heads-up play by Slavin. The Canadians take it along the wing. We'll get a face-off, and some lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Boston's won the draw in the neutral zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And there's a shot! Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Kind of lost control. 
hold for a second there, but regains possession. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Marchand. The Bruins have it in the offensive end. The Canadians have the puck now. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. In close! Denies them in close. Moves it quickly over to Marchand. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Bruins gain control of it. Boston's across the blue line. Couldn't catch up to that pass. And that one's turned away. Price gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. Domi's on the receiving end of this huge hit. Sometimes you've got nowhere to go. We're still in the early stages of this period. 3-0 is the score. Boston's got it, and they're on the attack. Across the point. Moves it to Krizlik. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Battle along the boards. Taken along the wall by Lekanen. Moves it to the offensive zone. Quick shot. Makes the glove stop. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Bruins are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Vlasic stick handling in his own zone. They go on the attack through center. Here's a short pass to Lekanen. Montreal's got the puck against the boards. Quick pass to Anderson. He scores! So is this the time the coach says the two-goal leads the most dreaded lead in hockey? Oh, yeah, somebody's going to say it guaranteed down there. But now you're only down two. You've got to push the play. Take some chances. Get up the ice. You've got to get another one. Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net. Make it difficult on the goalie. Take his eyes away. Man, he only can see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The Canadians still have a big hill to climb here, but they got one back, Ray. They're going to have to get their D up into the play, take a couple of chances. One is not going to do it. Montreal's won the draw. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Quick feed to Chirac. Couldn't complete the pass. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Drouin swooping in on the attack. Here he is in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. As we get another look at this stop, really good technique on the blocker getting that puck away from the net. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Montreal's won the faceoff. Can't get it to go. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Boston's looking to break out. Moves the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Canadians are in transition. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Scooped up along the wall by Toffoli. They go on the attack from the left side. A chance! Glove save! Price decides to cover it up for the whistle. I don't mind this. The game's tight, and you want to make sure that the decisions you make are the right ones. Too tough to make up a bad error now. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. And that one's broken up. Boston's got possession of the puck. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in the open ice. 
And that pass is redirected. Stopped by the goaltender. Price keeps his team in again with another stop. His save percentage has been outstanding, but they just can't score. And that's poked away by Nemestikov. How did he stop that one? Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Price makes a terrific stop, but he doesn't get all of it, and he's pretty fortunate it doesn't bounce off him and into the net. The setters will glide into the dot. Kakaniemi's won a big draw on their own end and tries to make a diagonal pass to Anderson. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Pass to Haig. Unable to reach that one. And serves up a little knock on the play. The Bruins have it against the wall. McCabe's got the puck. The Canadians look to start the transition game. Moves the puck into the attacking area. To his teammate! The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. When he finishes that check, his stick's got to be closer to the ice. This one's a high-sticking penalty. And off to the box, he'll go for a pair. The Bruins once again send out their power play unit. This is a confident power play group. They've already been on the board in this game, and they want more. You can just tell by how quickly they got out there. Good look. Not a good result, though. Now they can't cash in if they can't get it on the net. Really good play to set up the chance, but nothing for it. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Marchand's got it along the boards. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Handles the puck. Cross ice pass. And they can't convert to the play. Blaze got it in the offensive zone. And we got another stoppage in play for, guess what? Yeah, another penalty being called here. The Bruins have been handed two for interference. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Four-on-four -four opens up a whole new ball game. Lots of room to carry the puck. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Breaking through center, they go on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Marchand. And a strong effort on that play. Great reach with the poke check. Grabbed along the boards by Coyle. Puck scooped up by Marchand. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Pinned up along the boards. And as the penalty expires, they'll go to work now with the man advantage. And sends it just out of reach. Nice job to escape the zone. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Drives to the paint. Scores! You think that there's a one set way to score in the power play. You find out in a hurry. It doesn't really matter where the puck goes. As long as it moves quickly, you're going to have a chance. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Montreal's got one back here, yes. Ray. How big is that? Well, it does a lot, James. It changes your mindset. It changes the way you approach this. And you don't have to be reckless trying to get just one goal. And they continue to apply pressure here. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. 
And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. And no luck on that pass attempt. And some good footwork to kick it away. Quick pass to Drouet. The Canadians take it along the wall. Moves into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Great read with the stick. And now it's grabbed by Drouet. He scores! What an effort. They keep staying at the game. They push. They're looking for the tying goal. They finally get it. Oh, they never quit in this game. Maybe it's an old cliche, but they play it as long as they can, try to push the game out farther and farther, and they do that by tying it up here. The Canadians have essentially said to everybody, buckle up as they have even things up. You get into the last five minutes, it becomes a crapshoot in a tie game. Takes the feed. Great poke check on the reach. Sends a pass over. Here they come on the attack. Picked up along the boards by Domi. Can't connect on the pass. The Bruins take it across the blue line. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Moves it to Gaunt's. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. McCabe's taking it from his own end. And now he moves it to Kara. The Bruins slide it through center. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Canadians gain possession. That pass doesn't go. The Canadians pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. And a great save! I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Who had the better night? Carla is standing by. Kopitar's finish was hard to ignore in tonight's matchup, guys. I thought he had a solid game, and I'm giving him my vote in this one. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. He might have a step here. Oh, what a save! Centering pass. Scores! And the deadlock is broken. Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. It's like a one-man distribution center. Get open, and it's right on your tape. Boston's coaches are pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. Montreal's won it. The Bruins have it from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Grizzlick's got it against the boards. He scores! They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They pile a back-to-back -back goal on here. Oh, what a play. He slams this out of midair. Touch them all, Grand Slam. In the final moments of this period, Boston's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Nice job tying up his opponent. Can't find his man. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Great defensive effort with the stick. Higgs moving the puck through his own zone. Montreal's got it across the line. Extra attackers out on the ice. They're hungry for a goal here. Here's a short pass to Vlasic. Chance at an empty netter here. 
doesn't go. Takes the feed. They fight for it along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Kopitar. And now he angles it across to D'Angelo. Puts it on net. Oh, what a save with the glove! Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Canadians win the faceoff. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. A shot at the empty net. Montreal's got the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Montreal's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Slides it up to Lekkonen. And that's just out of reach. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Hammers it on net. That's all she wrote from this one. one nothing is where we sit after this one in this series. It's amazing, James, you play this long season, and then the playoff series goes pretty quickly. You want that lead. They have it now. Closes the book on this playoff barn burner for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We will see you as the playoffs roll on towards the quest for the cup.